Hi, friends, and welcome to Prospector's Q&A. Before we get started, I do want to do a little disclaimer. I am not an attorney, and I'm not giving legal advice. I'm simply speaking to you as someone who has over 30 years experience in the dirt business. And by the dirt business, I mean prospecting and mining. All that said, let's jump into today's question. Actually, there's a couple of them. Today's question comes from Frank in Georgia. Let's see what Frank asks. Hi there. I'm just getting started in prospecting, and I'm thinking about filing a mining claim. I also want to know which metal detector is best for finding gold nuggets. Thanks in advance, Frank in Georgia. Thank you, Frank. Those are really, really great questions. And before you start thinking about a mining claim, I would encourage you to pause at maybe putting the cart before the horse. If you really, really want to file a mining claim, I would encourage you to go for it if that's what you want to do. But you have a lot of options. One of your options is meet claim holders in your local area and talk to them. Another option, maybe even a better option since you're new at it, is to join a local club. When you join a club, you not only have access to claims, you have access to people. People are the real gold. When you have access to people in the club, you can have experiences with them. They may even loan you their equipment. And you can try out a detector before you buy it. Maybe you don't really like detecting as much as you think you do. I don't know anything about your background with detecting. Maybe you were once a relic hunter. I had a friend who was a relic hunter and actually two friends who were relic hunters. Who, and, and they've never been such very great prospectors for whatever reason. I don't know why. They just never have been. And I have friends who are only gold prospectors and they're just absolutely terrific with detectors. A couple of guys I've been prospecting with for decades. They're amazing with detectors, but it doesn't always cross over. I, I have talked to really hunters who are also successful gold prospectors, but they're two different things. So kind of a sidebar there, but something to think about. So again, with the claim, don't put the cart before the horse. Investigate your options. Talk to local claim owners in your area and, and you know, talk to any, any folks who have a club because Georgia is a great, great state for gold and you may get lucky and have all the uh, access and exposure that you want through the club. As far as which detector is best, there is no best detector. It doesn't exist. I wish it did because I'd have five of them. <laughs> but seriously, there is no best detector. There are a lot of capable gold detectors and you can pick them up anywhere from under $1,000 new to over $5,000 new. Sometimes you can get a great deal and find one for a couple hundred dollars used. And what I would encourage you to do if you really want to buy a detector is look for a used gold bug two or a used gold monster. Sometimes you can find them for three, four hundred, five hundred dollars on Craigslist or you know some local ad. They're both terrific machines. They will both find very, very small gold nuggets. They'll find big gold nuggets, but not as powerful as some of the other um, machines out there, like you know the MineLab PI series or the GPZ or anything like that, but you don't need the latest and greatest to find gold. You just need a capable detector. That's all you need. If you're interested in the differences between those two um, entry model uh, machines, they're both capable. I use them all the time. I actually wrote an article. I, I'll, I'll link to it below in the description if you're interested. I'm happy to do that. Um, there's a lot of gold, good gold detecting forms out there too. There's three forms that, that I recommend. Number one, the ICMJ form. And they didn't ask me to say that. They didn't pay me or incentivize me to say that at all. I have written articles for them. I just believe in who they are and what their mission is. They have the best recreational and industry information. They also have a great online form that's very centric around all types of prospecting. For more detector-centered uh, type uh, information, there's two forms I recommend um, in addition to the IMCJ. And that's Bill Southern's NuggetShooter.com and Rob Allison's NuggetHunting.com. Both Bill and Rob are great guys and they have really cool forms. So if you're really interested in that, I would encourage you to go check it out. So today's video was short and sweet. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with everyone you know. Thanks, kids. Be safe.